Hello, everybody. I have been requested, uh, or it has been requested of me to uh, modify a blanket on video so people can see exactly how easy it is. And so I'm going to do that. I have a Sunbeam fleece twin size blanket here. And I've cracked the seal on it. And I'm going to pull out the blanket on the video. Um, this is completely unrehearsed. All right. All right. In the in the blanket is a package, and this is what we're going to be working with. We're going to be working with this package here, and of course the blanket itself. Somewhere on the blanket there is a connector that you plug into, and here it is. On this particular blanket. I'm pointing to the connector that you would plug into if you had the same exact blanket I had here, uh, a Sunbeam uh, fleece. And the thing that I'm interested in in here is the cord that plugs into that and the control box and everything else. Now they have all sorts of different kinds of control boxes. And in this case, let me see if I can improve the lighting a little bit. All right. Yeah, I think that improves the lighting a little bit. So this is the controller for this particular heat blanket right here. And I'm not interested in using this when I use this device here, the frequency converter. The frequency converter is going to replace the controller. So I'm going to take off the tie wrap that holds it all together and unravel it. Now the controller has two cables. One cable goes to your wall outlet, and here it is right here. Here it is right here. And the other end the other end is the match for the plug right here. What I'm interested in is just the cable that plugs into here and nothing else. So here's where you need a tool. You need a pair of dikes and you take the wire and you cut it. Now that makes the controller useless but I'm going to tell you something at the very end of the video that uh, can bring the controller very easily back to life. So I'm going to take the controller and I'm going to put that out of sight, out of, out of the way. So what you have to do next is you have to plug in the cable that normally plugs into the heat blanket. And on the other end of the cable, I'm getting the other end. On the other end, I'll move this a little over this way, you want to put a plug. And here's a plug. And it just goes in like that. Now I'm going to show you something that I did on a, another heat blanket momentarily. Here's the heat blanket cable, and I put a three-way plug on here. And this cable has three wires in it. So if you put the female version, the female version of this, on the cable part that you cut off on the controller, here's the controller again, 
there's the cable I cut off. If you put a female receptacle of this on there, and they make them smaller, they don't have to be so bulky looking. You can use this cable, unplug it, and plug it back and forth, um, bring in your controller back if you don't want to use your heat blanket with the frequency converter. But we're not going to do that. We are just going to do for this video, because I don't have a lot of time, and it seems like I've got five minutes on here already. We're just going to put th these two together. So this will plug into the frequency converter right here, and we'll be able to control the heat blanket with the spooky running different frequencies and different intensities, all sorts of things. Um, this pot right here that I'm tapping with my finger can be used as a heat adjustment or you can use the spooky and change the heat adjustment by changing the duty cycle of the wave pattern that you're feeding into here. All right. You have to strip, you have to strip the wires on here. I'll turn this camera around so I don't keep so it doesn't keep getting out of my field of I don't get out of the field of view. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm using a pair of dikes. I'm gonna separate the three wires. Uh, so now I have the three wires that are separated. And you only need, out of the three wires here, you only need two of them. That's why a two prong will work just fine. But you do need a meter to figure out which two do you're going to use. I'm going to turn my meter on. I'm going to strip the wire ends. This exposes the copper. And now they're stripped. And I'm going to take the meter and I'm going to find out which two wires give me continuity. There's only two wires in here that give me continuity. Now I happen to have a meter that does a buzz. You may or may not hear it, uh, but this meter does do a buzz. And it also gives me an ohm reading. So if I take the two probes together, and right now they're not connected, if I take the two probes, the red and the black, and touch them together, you notice I have I have zero resistance, and you may I'm bringing it close so you can hear it. Now you don't have to have a meter that has a buzzer in it. That's not that important. And I'm going to find out which two wires out of the three here, which two wires give me continuity and when I say the word continuity I'm talking about give me roughly a very very low resistance it's not going to be zero because there's resistance in the heat blanket that warms up so but it's going to be low so I'm going through the two outer ones I'm going to one end to the other. so I've done two combinations already and I didn't get it right right and voila there we go so I found, I found by, you couldn't hear the meter, but I certainly could. I found that that wire is not used on this particular, so I'm just going to bend it out of the way momentarily. And I found that the, the only two wires that I'm interested in are right here. And if I hold the probe to each one, my meter just went down to 52 ohms. And I'll try to show that to you and hold it at the same time. A little difficult with one hand need another hand here. Uh, maybe I can just lean it against here. Can we see it if I do that? Yes, we can. Good. So, so I'm going to put... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. So why don't I hold the meter with a... Okay, there we go. 
and you can see it says 52 ohms in meter. So I found the two wires that I'm interested in. That's how easy, but you do need a meter. That's how easy it is to um, modify a heat blanket. Well, you said you haven't finished yet. You're right, I haven't finished. Here's my plug. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clip the wire that I've folded over. Can you see the wire folded over? I don't need that. I'm going to clip it. It's gone. Flipped up in the air. And I'm going to pull this apart, pull this plug apart. Uh, the way this plug comes apart is you have to they, You get different type of plugs. They come apart differently. I bought this at the hardware. Uh, we have a hardware called Ace Hardware. And, you, and you, t you can take these prongs right out. There's no polarity. We're not interested in any kind of polarity. I'm only interested in getting one wire to each prong of the plug. So I want a little more material off the wire so I have a little bit better or longer strip. So I'm, I'm restripping them. I'm just taking... And I'll show you how much I took off. It's what I did. I took off about, I'm just going to guesstimate, about five-eighths of an inch. Just a little over a half an inch. And I'm twisting the wires with my hands to get rid of any of the, the frays and so forth. I'm making them like one solid cable. And I'm going to, without paying any attention, I'm going to stick these two wires through the hole on this particular plug. There it is. You can see what I've done. And I'm going to screw, I'm going to wrap wire around one terminal and screw it in. And I happen to have a screwdriver here in handy and I'm screwing it down. And I'm screwing it down. And I'm going to go get the other terminal. And I'm going to wrap the wire around that screw. You know, you can't see the detail with my hands covering everything up. But I'm almost done. I'm almost done. A completely unrehearsed video. And I think so far, how long has this video run for? This will pretty 12 minutes. Well, I'm taking longer than I really would like to take on this. <laughs> okay, I've got the two wires in. I will take the meter one more time and ensure that I'm going to read the, the, the voltage that I'm in. Uh, not the voltage. Yep, I got the two right. I got the, the right wires that, I'm, that I need, and I'm going to put this together. Now granted, there are different type of plugs, and whatever plug you get, whatever plug you get, you'll have to make the appropriate adjustments. And, and of course, this is gonna be very difficult to do this real time, it does, it's going to just it's going to give me a lot of problems because that's the way it's supposed to do when you're doing a video. Terminate this. Didn't work. Okay, um, I actually stopped the video because I had problems putting the plug prongs back into the holder. I had to go get a pair of pliers, and I didn't want to waste time, so I'm going to patch this part onto the tail end of this video. So we're all set. Uh, Get rid of the tools momentarily. And if I bring this cord coil up, I'll get it all put together in my hand, you can see that it just goes, it goes straight to the heat blanket. And on, on the other end, right here, on the other end, goes straight to the spooky. Not the spooky, but the uh, frequency generator. Like yay. And now this unit can control the heat blanket, and this unit can be controlled by a function generator, such as a Spooky. You can see it in the background there. There we go. Such as a Spooky.
And that's how you do a heat blanket. Okay, um, I'll put this one up for sale uh, on the internet because I don't need it. I bought it strictly to do a demo. It's all.